Good morning. So we're off on another adventure in our electric camper van. This time we're heading to Spain. So we're currently in France. We, yeah, we're currently a few hundred miles south of Calais, but we're taking a different route to usual. We usually end up sort of going down France on the uh, east side, but this time we came from Calais. We went west, like down the down the coast. So. Um, Yes, because we're heading to the Spanish Pyrenees will be our first um, sort of stop off. The drive down went, went well through the UK. It was very, uh, very wet, very wild weather. So much water everywhere. It's past your bedtime. <laughs> yeah. We are on the Eurotunnel. We are on the train that goes underneath the sea. <laughs> Take cooking some dinner up. Have a little top up on our on a tea using the Shadow before heading on to a little little village to spend the night tonight. This is where we charged up last night. Just gonna give Harry his breakfast and then uh, we'll get on the road. Are you excited Harry? I'm tired. Is it breakfast time Harry? <gasps> it is breakfast time. <laughs> you gonna put it in your mouth. Oh, tasty, tasty banana porridge. Okay we're done charging. So I'm just gonna stop the charge. It's fantastic, so many of these 22 kilowatt units, they're all over France and uh, you know, they're really nice places to charge up. Show my card, charge map, activate all the charge points in these villages. There you go, unplug, really nice design, little electromagnet. We're now 98% charged and the van is showing 107 miles of range. So as I mentioned, we're going to be travelling down through Spain, through the, like kind of through central Spain. Um, we've only really been through central Spain once before. That was with our 24 kilometer van, and that was uh, that was quite an adventure. Um, yeah, Spain is definitely well behind other European countries when it comes to EV charging, and certainly back in 2019, that was definitely pushing the limits of what was possible with a 24 kilowatt battery. So now roll on, roll on a few years later and we've now got a bigger battery. I thought this trip would be fairly straightforward, but I, was having a, I had a quick look before I left and where we're gonna be going in like rural Spain uh, in the middle there, there's really not that many chargers at all. Um, yeah, so we're very glad of having, having a larger battery, but you know, it still might be uh, still might be rather exciting at times, especially given the elevation and the fact that it's winter. And unfortunately, in Spain, they seem to require the sign up to the apps are quite convoluted. They seem to require your Spanish ID number or on Spanish bank account or Spanish mobile number, none of which I have. So there's at least two apps um, that I've just failed to sign up to. Undercover, total rapid charge here, 150 kilowatts with a solar canopy on the roof. Pretty cool. You ready to go? You done charging? Nice, nice little break. He just wants a straight baby, don't you? A straight baby. There we go, baby will give you a little look. All right, should we get you buckled in the back? We are finished charging here. Our next leg is 73 miles around Paris. We're going around the periphery of Paris. We're just driving along the Paris Peripherique, around Paris, and suddenly the big sign, two meter height restriction, and then straight into this, um, which is, uh, we're 1.85 meters, so it's, uh, it's a bit tight. Good job I haven't got the bouldering mat up on the roof. It feels so weird to be driving on a main road with a, that's to only two meters high. All right, we've done it. We've got past Paris. That's always a good landmark on a trip. Um, just having a little top up here at this total rapid charger. Really impressed with this. Proper rapid charge hub, big solar canopy, undercover, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a unit there, seven units. And it's well away from the service area, so um, there's no chance of you know being blocked by other cars or anything. How's it going in here? Yeah, gearing up for some 
baby dinner feast is sweet potato, carrot and broccoli. Are you ready for oh. dinner, young man? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going to be so exciting. You know, sweet potato <laughs> and broccoli, your favourites. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's great, how excited he is for a sweet potato. Oh, yeah. Daddy's gonna have a coffee. Let's switch on the switch on the inverter. Turn on the induction hob. Yeah, it's coming. There we go, and pop some water in there. We have the math. Was that tasty, Harry? Did you get it all over your face? Van has now just pipped over 80,000 miles. Still going strong. Good morning, Harry. How are you doing? Okay, so you find us in this glamorous location in this supermarket car park. So we got up early this morning, woke up in a little, uh, <coughs> slept on a charge point little village just down the road. So almost three days on the road, we were running out of reusable nappies. Yeah, now we're just gonna have some breakfast in the van while that, uh, while that dries. They're really good though. We've got little, um, they're all over France, um, 24 hour wash and dryer units. So it's pretty good, it's pretty handy to know. So hopefully we're going to make some good progress today and uh, get to the Pyrenees. So we'll wake up in the mountains tomorrow. How are you doing today, baby? Would you like some breakfast? First rapid charge of the day in this Allegro charging hub. There's one, two, three, four, five rapid chargers here and a couple of type twos over there. Going really well. We've done almost 800 miles now since leaving home and we're making good progress driving down through France. Look at the map, so that's where we are now. So we left home in North Wales there um, almost, almost three days ago. And now we are there in Lim Limoges, well on the road towards Toulouse, which is just down there. And from Toulouse, it's not that far there. Yeah. Then to go up into the mountains. Let's see how far the next one. So I used plug share to plan the trip before I left. Let's have a look. This is the little uh, map I plotted out. So that's where we are now. So the next one is going to be there. It's an Ionity station. And I can see they're available. This is 67 miles. So we probably need about 70% uh, for that. Currently on 35%, so probably another 20 minutes to go. And then we'll be good to go. So I started this charge using um, the charge map card, as I always have been. And uh, the prices in France have been pretty reasonable, so I've actually stopped looking at the prices. But I just had a quick look, and this one was actually 95 cents per kilowatt hour, which is pretty expensive. And I had a look, and the Octopus um, Octopus uh, Juice card, apparently, is only 50 pence per kilowatt hour. I've never used this card before, so I thought I'd give it a go and uh, get half price charging on this unit. Let's see if it works. So we get our home energy with Octopus, so this charge will be added on to our... Electricity bill. Badge valid. Well, hey, it's working. That's cool. So yeah, maybe I should pay more attention and see where else I can use octopus. Is it lunchtime? Yeah. You love that egg, don't you? You put it in your mouth. Oh. Am I distracting you when you're eating? Finally, we've been at this service area for a long time. Much longer than we usually charge. Um, but we both wanted to have a shower. It was cold, but, you know, it was free. Can't complain. Amy's just having her shower now. And uh, the next leg goes through this national park and it'll take us pretty much all the way to Toulouse. And it's a 95 mile leg with not really much on the way. There's a few charging options, but none of them look very appealing. So hopefully we'll be able to do 95 miles in one go, which will take us pretty much to Toulouse. Um, so we don't normally rubber charge this high. Um, there's no one else waiting to use it, so. As you can see, there's plenty of other Ionity stations over there. It's only really our older Chadamo um, and maybe some Zoe's which would want to use this station. So we're not really holding anyone up. You have a nice yeah. shower. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bracing, but yeah. Cold. Squeaky clean. Yeah. What do they it, say? When there was what levels they? of cold, sometimes you'd get like a really freezing bit and then you other times... quite a long one. Like I was just in and out. All right, Harry's ready to go. You ready to get back on the road, Harry? We just arrived at the next charging point at Ionity and it turns out that 95 miles leg wasn't 95 miles after all it was actually 85 miles and we arrived here with 32 uh, miles left 26 percent easy nothing to worry about at all yeah it turns out like, getting um the, the, the service area we we're in had like quite a complex way to get out of it and the sat nav was like rooting us around like a funny extra 10 mile loop as soon as we got on the way 
it uh, it recalculated and realised that it wasn't quite as far as we thought. Yeah, I was trying to keep a buffer of about 20 miles to spare, especially when, you know, somewhere abroad um, in winter at night makes for a much more, you know, relaxed, stress-free journey. You liking your plums, pears, parsnips and sweet? Mmm. Well, hey, we've made it. We're in Spain. It's the first rapid charge in Spain, just crossed the border about 20 minutes ago. I'm driven, uh, driven up into the mountains. I just activated this um, Il Badrola unit using my um, Octopus electric juice card because I couldn't create an account on uh, Il Badrola because I didn't have a Spanish um, phone number. But uh, I wish it was daylight. There's mountains all around it. It's awesome driving up all the wheelie roads. I'm just trying to decide what to do now. Um, it's only about 30 minutes or so up to the ski centre area. But I, I'm thinking I'll probably push on. It's almost midnight. It's not that. It's not super late. Um, and just get us there, and then we can wake up and see all the snowy mountains around us. Certainly, the, the weak point of this van is its uh, charging speed and the fact the battery hasn't got any thermal management. And uh, yeah, it's often criticised for having rapid gate, which is when you charge it multiple times in a row, it slows down. Um, and I've been keeping an eye on the battery temperature. I've done about five or six rapid charges today and the battery temperature is at 38 degrees. But we're still pulling 30 kilowatts and uh, done almost 400 miles of driving today. Um, granted, it's not super hot. Um, it's like obviously winter, but it's not super cold either. I think currently it's about 10 degrees here. So uh, 30 kilowatts is not rapid by modern rapid standards, but uh, you know, for an old van like this, it's not bad. And it's usually ready before, before we are. Made it up into the mountains, plugged in here, into this 22 kilowatt Bilbo Dweller unit. There's a Mercedes charging next door. This is a tethered unit. So I had to use my um, cut down cable trick because the van here has only got a, only got a type 1 connector there. Use that cut down cable to plug it in like that. Right, let's see. Go and wake Abby up and get the bed out. In incoming. Come in. Incoming. Good morning. We're here in the Spanish Pyrenees and today it's just so beautiful outside. It's sunny and it's amazing to wake up and see all the mountains. So after Harry has finished having his breakfast. I'll show you outside and then we'll go out and explore. Ready for the mountains. Ready to, ready to go skiing. <laughs> Good morning and happy 2023. It's the 1st of January today. It's a really nice campsite. We've been plugged in on the, the hook up here. Six amp hook up sockets. Some rather manky looking plugs, but seem to be working. 
six amp is obviously very slow, um, 1.4 kilowatts. But overnight the van went from about 60% to 90% while running the heater, so that's totally fine. We're not, not in a rush, we're going to be staying around here for probably for another day or two at least. Harry's just been having some lunch. Only Harry. You look very excited. Did you just finish your lunch all by yourself? <laughs> little help and belly. Yeah. I thought I'd go for a little afternoon stroll. So I'd look at the map to see what was around and uh, found that there was a little Via Ferrata. So the campsite is just down there in a little village. And we've just walked 20 minutes up the hill here and just got to the base of the Via Ferrata, which goes up there. Going to give us a good send off to the bottom of the Via Ferrata. <laughs> you sound like I'm not coming back. <laughs> You get to come up with me, Billy. Here we go. That's where it starts. Beer Farta is awesome fun. Just nice big holds. Hopefully that's where I'll be going skiing up tomorrow. And that's the campsite where the van is down there. So Via Ferrata is when um, you don't really climb the rock with your hands. There's like uh, staples, big big metal handholds that have been drilled into the rock. So it's just like climbing a, climbing a ladder really. Um, and it's super safe, you like clipped in the whole time. Quite different as rock climbing. It doesn't have the same like joy of movement that you get with you know, actually using your hands and fingers. but. It's pretty nice for a quick hit. What's on the menu this morning? Alright, Harry, well, he's been facing the play area. <laughs> Are you the back of the seat? So you haven't seen what's being rustled up. Um, but we have some cinnamon apple porridge with a little bit of grated apple. A little bit of apple puree! <gasps> Which is pretty much exactly the same as what mum and dad are having. Mm, okay. Yeah. Hey, we are back at the van. That was an awesome day skiing. Oh, we just got back from a walk at the same Perfect time. Perfect timing, yeah. Oh, tired. That Ooh. was a that was a really good day. Really, this little guy's just waking really up. enjoyed that. Uh, oh, has sorry, he had really a little nap? Yeah, he's Hello. Been the whole time, haven't you? you had a good day. Oh, it's a really yeah. atmospheric uh, day skiing. We was mist that kept coming in. One minute it was like blue, super blue skies and sunny. The next minute it was like total whiteouts and it even snowed a bit right on the top. The snow is obviously, as you can see, it's not great low down, but up high, up at like 2,600 meters. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Should we uh, have a little quick coffee and then Make tracks. get on the road? Just get on to our plan now is to drive a bit tonight south towards like more southern Spain and uh, eventually end up in wow. Albaracin, where we're going to go climbing. The rapid charge network in Spain is not nearly as good as in other countries. Uh, in this valley where the ski centre is, there's actually quite a few rapid charges. But once we start, you know, leaving the mountains and heading out into rural Spain, there's actually very few. 
Um, so we're actually going to stop after about 30 miles and just, just try and use the rapid charger because it's on a network we've not used before. So just want to double check that the app works. This is a NL, NLX on the Juice Pass app. Um, I've used it before about four years ago, but um, yeah, I've not used it recently, so I wanted to double check that works. Oh, these little ski villages are beautiful down there. It's just a shame there's not a bit more snow around to make it a bit more magical. It's, uh, it's really nice driving an EV down these uh, switchback roads because um, I'm barely touching the brakes. It's all using regen braking to put energy back into the back into the battery and it feels quite controlled. It doesn't feel like you know the van's running away uh, with you or anything. Okay, so this is the first rapid charger in Catalonia that we've used. It's on the DESA network um, and we activated it using the NLX Juice Pass app. And I've used this app before back in 2019 and it worked pretty well. But the app doesn't seem to work at the moment, it's showing all the units as busy. Like every single unit across the whole of Spain is busy. And this one's obviously not busy, it's not in use. So I can't start charging this grayed out, so I can't, um, uh, can't tap it. But I had a look and apparently Shell, um, uh, you know, Shell Recharge from the new motion should be able to activate this. So let's give this a go. Got my little um, new motion tag there. So let's see if this works. Hey, authorized. Excellent. So we want Chanamo. Excellent. Cool. That's charging. Cool. That's a relief. I was pretty worried about using these because um, there's quite a few of these on the journey from now on in Spain. So if we couldn't use them, that would be quite uh, quite annoying. That's good to know that uh, Shell New Motion will do the trick. So we're just parked up by this lake, a few hours south of where we were, we were skiing. Um, the reason we don't do much filming in the evening anymore is because we've got a sleepy little baby over there. So I don't really want to make too much noise. But we're just cooking up dinner here. They, they decide his dinner. I think this should be quite a nice spot, so I'll have a little... It's all dark at the moment, but I'll have a look in the morning. 